Today we want to spotlight a wallet and this time it's Frame. You can download Frame from the official website, which is frame.sh. Frame is a native desktop application, which means it's standalone and it works on Windows, Mac and Linux. Since Frame is a standalone application, you can see that I'm not having a browser open right here and you can still access the wallet which is cool because it makes it interoperable between browsers. Frame supports all EVM chains like Ethereum, Polygon or Arbitrum. To get your account added into Frame, you would simply click on the plus sign besides the accounts header. From here, you can choose what type of account you want to add, like a ledger, a seed phrase import, or just some watch only accounts, which are a cool option. If you're using a software wallet, you would just type in your seed phrase when you click on seed phrase and then import it via next. I'm using my watch only accounts for now. A quick overview of the interface is this is a connected active wallet when it's green. If it shows red, you're not unlocked or selected. Chain we're connected to, Ethereum mainnet at the moment. You have a little gas tracker up here. The current Ethereum price. Besides that, we have the chain manager where you can switch from the mainnet, for example, to Optimism, Arbitrum or Polygon, Robson, Rinkeby and so on. You could always add chains yourself as well. Besides that, there are the global options, which are basically the settings. Quick tip here, you might want to disable auto hide because frame just disappears if you click it this way and you have to click it again so it docks to the side again. I recommend you install the browser extension as well for Frame because that gives you the option to inject Frame as MetaMask on websites. This would look like this and then lets you connect just via MetaMask. Quick overview of the main UI of Frame. You can see a fee monitor here, which is a gas tracker basically, and the current GUI prices. Down here you can see the balances that your account holds. And down here you can see the inventory, which displays NFTs if you hold any, like the Picaroons or other deeds, for example. If you click it, and then you will see the tokens you're holding. And if you click on the token, you will actually get prompted with an open C link if you want to. At the bottom, you can see, for example, the permissions, which means connected websites, and then you can verify an address, or you could click the account settings where you could set a name for this address account. Let's name it Watcher, just for a quick example. That way, this account is now called Watcher and you can easily identify it. To send something in Frame, you would click on the send button, and then you will get prompted with this pop-up, send.frame.eth wants to connect, approve it. Then you would be seeing your balances, like Ether, for example, you could click on it, and then you can select a recipient address, which would be in this case weme.es because that's me. You can press enter again and the address gets resolved. And here you can enter how many tokens you want to send, press enter again, and then you can send the transaction to your wallet and sign it or not. Hope this video helped you guys. See ya.